Welcome to another Professor Pinball creation. This time we have a Pinduino connected to a funhouse controlling a set of addressable LEDs on the main left ramp. Um, I like how this one came out. We've got interactive lighting based on the flashers of the game. Since the primary flashers are these red, white, and blue flashers that you have over here, under the ramp, and along the back, um, I have the programming set up so it's tied in really to try to hit the themes of those flashers as it goes off, as well as other things like the flasher in front of Rudy. Um, this is all open source code. There's a link below in terms of how to get access to it, as well as Pinduinos, which are Arduino-based boards that plug straight into the power driver board of a variety of different kinds of pinball machines. In this case, it's a WPC system, um, and this is a Williams and Funhouse. Funhouse uh, is one of the first two WPC games. Um, the other one was Bride of Pinbot. Um, these still have alphanumeric displays, uh, the final ones, they switched to dot matrix. And Funhouse is an all-time classic, including a creepy clown, three flippers, and just a wonderful classic design by Pat Lawler. So, as far as the first ball goes, that one was horrible. Um, Funhouse does not have a ball saver. I think that started to come in uh, about a year or so later, a couple years later. Um, Mid-90s or so had them for sure. There are some nice of the Pinduino effects that are happening there as so we get our flashers going on the game. Oh, and I totally threw that multi-ball. See if we can get built up to the normal multi-ball. We might get an extra ball. But I'm still on ball two, so I can still have got some good stuff. There we go. Up to the first lock. Made it to 11.30 on the main clock. Oh, and a good drag. All right. Uh, one more ball. See if we can get lucky and actually make it to the main multi ball. Or it'd be really great if we get an extra ball. All right, got the ball trapped so I can now at least start collecting those locks. Oh, and I bricked it. Well, I got Super Dog lit. It's a dangerous mode. I usually just ignore it simply because um, that, that bounce off that there can be, or the stand-ups can be pretty dangerous. So I'm going to try to hit the ramp and uh, huh, didn't get very far. So I will go ahead and start up another game and uh, see if I can make it a little further. Um, but also at least you can start seeing some more of those nice effects with the Pinduino. The other thing I've got going on is that it will go into the sparkle mode, which is just this random fading in and out of lights. Um, that turns on pretty quickly. Um, I think there's about a half a second delay, a second delay between a lighting effect and that thing coming on. And it will randomly switch between being a red one um, as well as blue. Those seem to be the two primary colors of the game, um, all things considered. Pinduino being fully addressable, I can program in a variety of nice fading effects, so as you're watching the colors, it's not just red, it'll be red fading to orange um, as it spreads across the LED strips. And I've got some other colors in there as well. Oh, man, bummer on the bounce out. Ah, if I'm lucky, I might be able to collect an extra ball on... Um, on the mirror. Pretty good catch there. At least I got the extra ball lit. And again, I'm going to be working my way up towards that main multi ball. There's one thing I like on this game. There we go. It is Bashing Rudy. Oh, the one I got the other one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There's a lucky bounce in. And I got an extra ball. So, 11.45, need one more lock up there on that center shot. And 
then we'll be able to get our multi-ball started with a good shot of Rudy's mouth. So, um, again, I'm gonna go for that. That'll work. Second lock, got a lucky bounce again. So now what I'm trying to do is plunge it and get the skill shot behind Rudy's head. Hopefully that'll give me a nice and easy feed to that upper flipper. Ah, uh, not strong enough. Um, and that, that then will let me get a higher chance of a good start. Otherwise what I'm going to have to do is try to get up to that uh, lock shot and then get the feed to the upper flipper into Rudy's mouth. Multi-ball is ready to go. Let's see if I might be able to get at least one jackpot. And a free game. That was fun. Gotta get to the ramp and re light it. So I'm not doing a good job on. Oh. Well, that was a disappointing multi ball, but at least I got one jackpot. Um, and you got to see what the Pinduino looks like in multi ball. And I'll keep playing this for fun, because Funhouse is a fun game. So the other thing about the Pinduino is, while um, I do make code, uh, I install code like this one, uh, for anyone that gets a tip from me, um, the code is open source. These are Arduino based. It makes it really easy to customize and update the lighting effects exactly the way that you want it to. So I've had people that will get a Pinduino from me, take my code, they like it, but you know maybe they want more lighting effects, they want fewer lighting effects, or they've got some particular color that they've got going on with their game, say something that they've done with the powder coating, and they really want the lighting effects to match game specifically. And that's just sort of the whole purpose of the Pinduino is to have a, a setup that makes it very easy for anyone to go in and write your own code, um, design your own mod, and importantly customize it so it's exactly the way that you want it for your particular game. Because um, while, while games are great, um, completely stock, there's just something really fun about modding, modding them up to be um, personalized based on the things that you you like. Some people like toys on the games, other people like um, lighting effects, other people like toppers, um, other people like servos that move stuff around. Me, I'm personally a lighting person, uh, but I totally get all the other ones too. The only ones I'm not a huge fan of are when people glue a, a bunch of like cheap toys to their games, but you know, I still respect that, uh, as long as it's done. Well. Alright, back into... Oh! I got it for game. But, I uh, made my way at least back up into the ball box again. I've got one more ball. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if we can get another uh, multi-ball going, which would be a ton of fun. And I'm ready for my super frenzy. Uh, so I've got all the, all the modes uh, played through all the all the mirror awards. So the next one will be a super frenzy, which if I can get that thing started right before a multi ball, that would just be a ton of points. And I screwed that up. Well, um, hope you enjoyed that. I'll have links below again for um, getting access to the code, where to get Pinduinos, other things along those lines. There. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below or look me up on Pinside. Thanks a bunch.